Of the 50 states that make up the current United States of America, four were once independent nations of their own. Number one, the California Republic. At the conclusion of the Mexican-American War in 1848, the U.S. added the territory of northern Mexico to its borders, including what are now the states of California, Nevada, Utah, and portions of Wyoming, Colorado, New Mexico, and Arizona. Prior to this, during the early stages of the war, the American settlers in the Mexican territory of Alta, California, revolted against Mexico. The California Republic was declared in Sonoma on June 14, 1846, and for 26 days Alta, California, which encompassed a much larger area of land than today's state of California, existed as an independent republic. When the U.S. Army arrived to occupy the area, and the leaders of the revolt learned of U.S. intentions to annex the territory, the California Republic dissolved. The very short-lived republic also became known as the Bear Flag Republic. This is due to the grizzly bear that adorned its flag, an animal that has since gone extinct from the state. Number 2. The Vermont Republic During the 18th century, prior to American independence, the then British colonies of New York and New Hampshire issued land grants in the region that is now the state of Vermont. Much controversy took place between the holders of the overlapping grants and a definitive determination as to whether the land belonged to New York or New Hampshire was never made. After the American Revolutionary War began in 1775, the inhabitants of the area took the opportunity to declare their independence, not only from Great Britain, but New York and New Hampshire as well. The Vermont Republic formed on January 15, 1777, and remained independent from the 13 British colonies, then in rebellion against Great Britain. Vermont endured as an independent republic for the next 14 years, with its own constitution and currency, but expressed the desire for political union with the United States. Its coins even bore the Latin inscription, Stella Corta Decima, meaning the 14th star. When New York's claims to Vermont's lands were finally settled in 1790, the Vermont Republic's legislature approved a resolution to make an application to join the United States. Vermont was ultimately admitted as the 14th state on March 4, 1791. Number 3. The Republic of Texas in the early 19th century, the region that is now the state of Texas was part of the Spanish Empire in North America. After the Louisiana Purchase, the United States came to border these Spanish territories, the area that is now Texas being known as New Philippines. During the fight for Mexican independence, small parties of Americans supported the Mexicans against Spain on filibustering expeditions. One of these parties declared an independent Republic of Texas in April 1813. A Spanish army defeated the Mexican Army of the North in the Battle of Medina in August that year, however, and the proposed republic was never formed. After Mexican independence was achieved, several Americans immigrated to the Mexican state of Tejas, bringing their slaves with them. When measures were taken to abolish slavery in Mexico, these American settlers did not always comply. In 1830, American immigration to Texas was outlawed but illegal immigrants continued to cross the border into Mexico and conflicts over the status of slavery continued. Escalation of tensions continued over the next several years, and Mexico increased its military presence in the state. When Mexican President Antonio López de Santa Ana revoked the 1824 Constitution of Mexico, Stephen Austin and other Texans began to organize their own military. Hostilities broke out in the fall of 1835, and the Texan War for Independence continued over the next several months. The Alamo, a Spanish mission church in San Antonio, where Texan revolutionaries fought against a much larger Mexican army, has become an iconic symbol of Texas. Independence was achieved on March 2, 1836. The Republic of Texas is seen here in dark green, with further territories that it claimed in light green. Texas existed as a sovereign nation for about ten years with its own constitution, currency, and foreign diplomatic relations. Statehood was finally achieved on December 29, 1845. The Mexican-American War soon followed, after continuing disagreement over the southern border of the new state. Texas is still known as the Lone Star State, a reference to its time as an independent republic. Number 4. The Kingdom of Hawaii Located in the Pacific Ocean, far to the west of the 48 contiguous United States, Hawaii has a very rich, diverse, and unique history. In 1778, as the American Revolutionary War was waging, British explorer James Cook and his men became the first Europeans to officially set foot on Hawaii, then known as the Sandwich Islands. At that time, the islands were still separated between a number of chiefdoms, but were later united as the Kingdom of Hawaii between 1795 and 1810 by the first king, Kamehameha I. 
Over the next century, Hawaiian monarchs ruled the islands as a kingdom, often engaging in trade and diplomacy with Western nations such as Great Britain, France, Russia, and the United States. The kingdom's flag incorporated the British Union flag in its canton as a symbol of friendship between the two nations. Iolani Palace, the last home of Hawaii's monarchs, was constructed in the 1870s and is today a museum. Eventually, in 1893, a group of American and European businessmen on the island overthrew the Queen and took over the government. U.S. Marines and sailors were landed to protect the U.S. legation and consulate at that time. The Republic of Hawaii was soon founded in July 1894 and existed for the next four years as it saw annexation by the United States. Hawaii became a U.S. territory in 1898 and later was admitted as the 50th state in 1959. This 1898 photograph shows the ceremony in which the U.S. flag was raised over Iolani Palace. Aside from the four independent countries discussed in this video, that are now states, a number of other governments have established themselves on lands that are now part of the United States. Native American peoples, including the well-organized Iroquois Confederacy and the European colonial empires of Spain, France, Great Britain, the Netherlands, Sweden, Russia, and Denmark, all possess lands at some time that are now part of the United States as well. The Watuga Association, the state of Muskogee, and the Republic of Indian Stream were all small, short-lived governments established over small portions of U.S. territory during the late 18th or early 19th centuries. None of these three governments were ever officially recognized, however. During the American Civil War, the Confederate States of America formed in rebellion between 1861 and 1865. The Confederate States of Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, and Texas all had very short-lived republics during the early months of their secession in 1861 before joining together as a single nation. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out another episode right here. Thanks for watching.